Hi all, GabuX here with another video for my little investigations. I'm simultaneously excited and nervous to be presenting this particular video because we are now officially in new territory. The engine demo videos from this point forward will introduce brand new gameplay elements specifically for my little investigations that are not borrowed from the Ace Attorney series. As such, these are the videos that could either make the game engine stand apart from Ace Attorney or could ruin the whole thing. Obviously, I'm hoping for the former outcome. Before we get started, I just wanted to say a few words regarding the motivation for this particular piece of gameplay. A common comment slash question that I get regarding this game has to do with partners, whether they'll be present, whom they'll be, and so on. Ace Attorney Investigations had partners, but to be honest, they were really underutilized. Who your partner was basically had no effect on the gameplay at all, and was immaterial besides just interest's sake. I didn't want to do the same thing. If I was going to put partners into the game, I wanted to make them actually meaningful with respect to gameplay. This train of thought was originally going to lead to me just not putting partners in the game at all, but I got thinking about the subject, and the more I thought about it, the more I could actually see a place for partners in the gameplay. After playing Idea Ping Pong with my good friend Zeus Assassin for a little while, the partner system in this game slowly started to take shape and began to look like what I'm about to show you. So, without further ado, let's get started. Before we do though, I should say that everything in this video that you're about to see is completely 100% contrived, solely for the purpose of demonstrating the partner system in the game. None of the content in this video will be seen in any actual case. The reason for this is that partners really will not be seen very much in case number one. So my only options were either to give spoilers for case number two, or to just invent an artificial setting in which to show off partners. I didn't really want to show anything from case number two, so that left the latter as the best option. So to kick things off, let's go talk to the doctor for a little bit, shall we? So here's the first place where partners can come into play. You can see that something has left Doctor Who's a little spooked, to say the least. He's not exactly in any mood to talk to you, and until you fix that, you're not going to get any information out of him. In a case like this, the conversation option will be flagged with a question mark. This denotes the fact that you're going to need a partner present in order to open up this conversation option. Now, the game gave us the hint that you need someone to calm the Doctor down. So I have a feeling that everyone watching this has probably already figured out who that's going to be. But just for fun, let's derp for a little bit and bring in Rainbow Dash. As you can see, Rainbow Dash has joined Twilight as her partner. This screen will give a little blurb about whichever partner it is, detailing what sorts of things this partner can help you with, which effectively just serves as a hint to the player regarding in which situations you can expect this partner to have an effect. As your partner, Rainbow Dash will now uh, follow you around as you walk, and if you forget what your partner can do, you can just click the Partner tab at the bottom to see the screen displaying that information. But for right now, let's go over and see if Rainbow Dash can help us out with the Doctor. Okay, so that didn't exactly work, but you can see here another effect that partners can have. Having a certain partner present during a conversation can also cause new pieces of dialogue to be seen, if the context is right. At this point though, I know that you're all telling me, go get Fluttershy already! So let's go do that! I 
did note that the sudden jump that Rainbow Dash went through there is something you won't see in the actual game. There, partners' rest locations won't all be in the same place as they are in this video. At any rate, now that we've got the correct pony this time, let's go back to talk to the doctor one more time. Since we used the right pony, we've successfully gotten past that barrier, and have opened up Doctor Who's as a witness. This is one of the key things that partners can do for us in this game. This is an example of the use of passive abilities, abilities your partners possess that impact interpersonal relationships, which are influenced by that partner's demeanor. That's not the only thing that partners can do, though. To demonstrate the next thing, let's go rejoin with Rainbow Dash once again, and talk to Hoops instead of the Doctor. Alright, so Hoops isn't exactly being forthcoming with the fact that he knows something. And unfortunately, there doesn't exist any evidence that would go against anything he's saying, either. In a situation like this, well, I'll let Rainbow Dash suggest the proper course of action. What she's suggesting here is basically that we use an active ability, since no evidence will get the job done here. To demonstrate this, let's go back to the main interrogation. If you haven't noticed this little tab yet, this is the second way in which partners can be used. Some partners have an active ability that you can use during an interrogation, and it will be effectual when no evidence will work to crack the testimony being given. I should mention as well that there will usually be a hint somewhere along the line that this is what you need to do. In this case, Rainbow Dash is really good at getting under the skin of ponies who are quick to anger, much like Hoops here. Let's find a statement that she can needle him on, and skip sicker on Hoops. So, in this situation, we could use a partner to crack our opponent when evidence wasn't going to cut it. And now that the jig is up for Hoops, we could have a nice little conversation with him. If you've played Apollo Justice, this is a bit like the gotcha gameplay mechanic, in that it works when there's no evidence available, although it obviously has several fundamental differences. This is the second thing that partners can do for us. To illustrate the third and final thing that partners can help us with in this game, let's go over and talk to Rarity for a little bit. Now, Rarity's skill is a bit different than the others. Her primary skill isn't used against an opponent during an interrogation. Instead, Rarity can help you find hidden pieces of evidence that are small and would otherwise have been overlooked. Much as in the show, simply having her as your partner automatically activates her ability. If you walk past a hidden piece of evidence, it'll show up if she's present. 
As you can see, the shine on the ground here indicates that there's something here for us to be interested in. So let's have a look. I should say that there are still a few open design questions in this particular area. For example, we've talked about putting in a counter to show how many hidden items there are still left to be found. Or we might put in some hidden items that are irrelevant, and make the player have to link them to evidence that exists to deduce which are actually relevant to the case. Those are pretty minor details in the grand scheme of things, though. Either way, this feature will look pretty much like how it appears today. And that's about it, really. The only other thing that I might say about partners is that, in the real game, Partners likely will not always be as easily accessible as these ones were. They're real characters as well, which means they can very easily be busy, out of sorts, missing, or otherwise not immediately available, which will make it so that they can't help you until you first help them. I hope that this video has given you at least a pretty good sense regarding how partners will work in my little investigations. Friendship and personal connections are obviously a paramount theme within My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. So, I really like the way in which this gameplay mechanic enables success in this game to be the result of a team effort, rather than solely the efforts of Twilight alone. I think, or at least I hope, that this gameplay mechanic will go a long way towards making this game feel more like the show that we all know and love. This has been GabuX for My Little Investigations. Thanks for watching!